Hi guys, in this video tutorial we're going to go over how to use the Kami app in order to annotate PDFs. So what we're going to do is make sure that we're at KamiApp.com first. Once you're there, you will go over to create an account up in the top right corner. When you click that, you will see an option to log in with Google, so just pick that. And then you're going to log in with your account and select that we're a K-12 school. Then you're going to uh, select your role as student and hit finish when everything looks good. Now you're going to see a video if you want to watch that, but we're going to walk through it in this tutorial, so just go ahead and click continue. So from here, what you want to do is first go to the top right corner where you see your initials and give it a click. And when you click that, you will see a menu pop up with your name at the top. So at the very bottom, you are going to enter a license code that will come up on the screen in just a second. I recommend that you just pause this video and go ahead and enter the code that you're about to see pop on the screen. So the code is t-taylor-8446. So I'm just going to click apply and I'll see that the license has been successfully applied. So that's great. I can go ahead and hit close. So now I can actually log out of Kami. I'm all set there so I can click log out and hit OK. And now I see my home screen. And the next thing you want to do is move over to Schoology. So we're just going to go to candor.schoology.com. And when you're logged in, you may have to log in with your school account. You're going to see your class load in here. So I'm going to go ahead and click into my Spanish 4 class in this case. And we'll just give it a second to load. And now I'm going to move right over to upcoming. So if I go over to upcoming, I should be able to see a couple things here. I want to go to the Kami assignment that has my graphic organizer. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just click in here. And here you're going to see the assignment details, the directions, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you should see a button that says open this assignment with Kami. So go ahead and give that a click, and that will actually open a new tab for you. So now we're back in Kami. We're going to log in with Google that we already set up, so click that. And you might need to click your name, but what you want to see is this window that says importing Schoology assignment to Google Drive. Now you need to authorize Google Drive, and this is a one-time thing just to let them talk to each other. So go ahead and click the blue button below and it will give you another chance to authenticate with your school Google account. Just make sure you're using candorcs.org, and now you're in. So if you look, uh, we have our graphic organizer, and we have this uh, bronze, goldish color banner that says trial uh, expires or ends in 28 days. That is what we want to see. If you have a gray upgrade banner, let me know because we need to fix that. So now if we look at all the tools, we've got a bunch of these different items we can use to mark up our graphic organizer. What we're going to focus on mainly is the text box. So you can see all these different colors and anywhere that I click, I can actually add text, which is kind of cool. Um, so I'm just going to add my name here. And if you notice, I can change the font using the toolbar that's above here. I can even change the color. So if I want to change it to doesn't matter, um, maybe black or blue or whatever, I can do that. And now I'm just going to start typing my name. I'm going to fill this out. Um, so you can see how that kind of works. And when I go here, I can just fill in the fecha. So today is the 15th of April. So we'll say el 15 de abril. And we got to add our year as well, del uh, 2020. So now remember, we need at least three bullets for each section in our graphic organizer. So what we want to do is we're going to start with lugares importantes or important places. And I'm just going to use the text tool to add some important places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure text box is selected and I'm just going to click. And when I click, I will have a nice new box to create my text. And I actually want to expand this out a little bit. And I want bullets. So I'm going to go up to the top toolbar and just select the bullets icon, very similar to Google Docs. And now I can start typing, right? I can say San Jose es la capital de Costa Rica y casi uh, 340 mil uh, de personas, miles de personas, rather, I should say, uh, viven allí, okay? But let's say I don't like how that's crunched all together, um, and I want to expand this out. What I'm going to do is grab that corner, and I'm just going to click and drag. So as you can see, you can adjust it very similarly to probably other programs you've used to make text boxes. And when it looks good, I can move on to my next bullet. So what I'm going to do is just push the enter or the return button, and that'll just give you another bullet. Um, where you can go ahead and write in more information. So we're going to zoom out a little bit and we're going to just add another text box to this capital space and go ahead and write in San Jose. But we're going to actually focus on this middle part about dibuja la bandera costarricense. And if you really wanted to, you could go ahead and use the drawing tool, which you can see on the left side. But a lot of you, based on what you've told me about Nearpod, don't like that. 
So what we're going to do instead is we're going to just use this image tool that you can see a couple options down. And we're going to click that. And if you look, you can uh, do a few options. You can upload a file from Google Drive or your computer or do a Google search. We're going to use the Google search feature because this will allow us to search Google for any images that they're hosting. So as you could probably intuit for this bandera costarricense, let's say Costa Rican flag, hit search and you'll get your results. When I see one that I like, I'm going to pick this one down here. It looks kind of cool. I can click select. Turns out that was a GIF. So what I can do is I can hover my mouse wherever I want to put it. I can click to drop it somewhere. So let's put it in the appropriate spot. We're going to click and it comes right in. We got to resize that a little. So let's use that little drag tool to just uh, make it a little bit smaller so that it fits in the box. We're going to click and drag. And let's center it so it's nice and centered in the frame. Now I can click out and I've got that beautiful GIF right in the middle of my graphic organizer. Now it looks like I'm ready to move on uh, after I finish everything on the first page to the aprendiste, que aprendiste questions. So what I want to do is again, I'm going to use my text box tool to just fill in the answers underneath each question. So again, I would start with a frase completa, of course, I would say Oscar Arias es da 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 da, and I would continue writing. I can use the text adjustment tool, that size toolbar that comes up to adjust the size. I can then click and I can play with the spacing and the sizing um, to make it fit nicely underneath those questions. So then I would just go on um, and let's pretend that I'm done here, right? So once I'm done and everything looks good, I'm going to go up to this turn in uh, area here. It looks like it's got the save icon, the floppy disk. So once I click it, I'll get another option to turn in just to confirm my selection here and you'll see your name pop in. So let's click turn in and it'll export it and then it'll actually sync up with school gene it'll redirect us that it's redirecting there it is and you will see a big cami logo appear on schoology and just give it a second to think to put everything together to send it to schoology and now we've got an upload window if you want to write any comments under your upload that's fine a gap analysis is not necessary for this assignment um, if you want to talk about the cool GIF that you added to your graphic organizer, that'd be cool too. And once you're done, just go ahead and click submit. So from the teacher end, you can see this beautiful submission here. Uh, of course, it's not finished. Yours will hopefully be much more complete. Uh, but if you have any questions on this process, please do not hesitate to email me at btaylor@candorcs.org or text 607-444-5707. Gracias, chicos, y nos vemos pronto. Ciao!